I live in the panhandle of Florida, where fall is a strange blend of chilly mornings and sweltering afternoons, a mere whisper of the autumn I remember. I embark on my drive to work these days, hoping for a slice of the seasonal charm I miss. Growing up in the Northwest, I cherished the crisp air, the fiery leaves, and the spine-tingling thrill of Halloween. True horror captivates me and films like The Conjuring send chills down my spine. I may be more susceptible to fear, and while I want to believe in the paranormal, doubt often clouds my mind. But one morning, on my way to work, something gripped me with dread, leaving me questioning everything. It was around 6 a.m., and darkness still enveloped the landscape. A thick fog rolled low, clinging to the ground transforming the familiar road into something out of a Stephen King novel. Sleep-deprived and irritable after a restless night, I climbed into my car, dismissing my unease as mere grogginess. My driveway stretched long and straight, lined with shadows that seemed to shift and dance in the dim light. I set my cruise control to 30, hoping the slow drive would ease my mood. As I sipped my coffee and tuned into the radio, a flicker of movement caught my eye in the rearview mirror. At first, I dismissed it as a trick of the morning light the dark shapes darted around like bats, but there was something unnatural about them. They swept behind my car with the speed that sent an unsettling shiver down my spine. Leaning closer to the mirror, I squinted, desperate for clarity, but the shadows only blurred. The shapes grew more chaotic, twisting into bizarre forms that felt both familiar and deeply wrong. A wave of relief washed over me when I noticed headlights approaching. I hadn't realized I'd been holding my breath until I let it out, feeling a momentary reprieve. But that comfort shattered as the headlights grew larger, rapidly closing the distance. Panic set in. The driver behind me was tailgating aggressively, and I could feel the pressure mounting. I didn't want to pull over, afraid of what might happen if I did. I kept glancing back my heart racing as the shadows continued to swirl around my car, weaving in and out of the fog like phantoms. Finally, I reached the main road and halted as the stop sign, my mind racing. I hurriedly turned, pushing the gas pedal down, desperate to escape. But the car behind me remained relentless, and the shadows intensified, flickering against my windows as if they were drawn to my fear. My hands gripped the steering wheel, knuckles white, as I sped forward trying to reach my office where safety awaited. Fifteen minutes felt like an eternity. The sun began to rise in the distance, casting a sickly light that did little to dispel the choking fog around me. Just ahead, I spotted the dim glow of the community center and the silhouette of a police car parked in the lot. I pulled in with the urgency of a hunted animal, feeling the weight of dread lift as I left the road behind. The moment I parked, the shadows vanished, and the fog began to recede allowing clarity to seep back into my mind. The tailgater didn't follow I exhaled sharply, relief flooding my senses. I sat there, heart pounding, trying to catch my breath and process what had just happened. A sudden knock on my window startled me. I looked up to see the police officer, concern etched on his face. My hands trembled as I rolled down the window. Are you okay? He asked, noticing my distress. I recounted my story describing the car that had been tailing me and the shadows that haunted my drive. His expression shifted to confusion. There were no other cars on the road, he said quietly, glancing back toward the empty street behind him. A chill ran down my spine. I had been utterly alone, pursued by something unseen. The realization sank in perhaps the true horror wasn't just the shadows or the speeding car but the unsettling knowledge that I might not have been alone after all. As I prepared to head back onto the road to finish my drive to work, I was left questioning the boundaries of reality, wondering what dark forces might linger just beyond our perspective.